All right, people, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. You have asked me to react to a video that's called Eight Indians Who Will Change Your Mind About India in Eight Minutes. Well, on this channel, we like to react to Indian content that revolves around the music industry. So a lot of singing, okay? But we also like to learn a little bit about India. And I feel like this video falls in that category. Very exciting. Let's see what it's about. Before we start, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News, because that is where you can DM your suggestions. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now I understand better and now I'm not surprised anymore why the title reads this way. Like, eight Indians will change your mind about India in eight minutes. This guy, Nas Daily, loves to put the number of minutes in his titles, okay? And this is not my first time reacting to Nas Daily. Uh, he, did, he made a lot of videos about Filipinos. So I reacted to those and they were interesting. But the problem with guys that make videos like this, it's more like the uh, format of their videos that's annoying. And also the way they speak to, uh, to the camera, you know, it's always so dramatic and eh. But still, if the information that they give us is, you know, legit and good, then there's no problem, you know, like, let's listen. India, there is a farmer who planted an entire forest in just 40 years. Meet Jadev. 40 years ago, Jadev saw... An entire forest just in 40 years. Okay, so an entire forest. That's very impressive and that's amazing and uh, more people should be doing that. But you can't just in just 40 years. When you say just 40 years, you're implying that 40 years... It's not a long time. It's a long ass time. That next to his home, the trees were dying, the river was flooding, and the animals were fleeing. He saw deforestation. So he decided to cut branches from the trees in his garden and put them here in wow. the middle of nowhere. Wow. Every day, he would take his boat, cross the river, walk for two hours, and plant a tree next to his farm. He did this three months a year, every year, for 40 years. Wow. And that's how he turned that's this into a beautiful forest that is bigger than Central Park in New York. It all Ooh. goes to show if you do something small every day for many days, sooner or later, Absolutely. you will create something much, much bigger than you. That's one minute. Well, that's something that I can also notice at a smaller scale with my plants. You know, I got a bunch of plants uh, a few years back, you know, like six years ago, seven years ago, and they were, you know, tiny. And now they're huge. And every time I look at them, I'm like, well, look at you. I'm so proud of myself, but also of the plant for still being alive and growing, you know. Every week, I give them a little bit of water and they're looking great. See you tomorrow. World's youngest billionaire. We found one of the youngest billionaires oh. in the world. We found him in the Rayaga. Okay, so they wrote w the youngest billionaire, right? The uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's go back. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Okay, so in the title here, world's youngest billionaire, and then in the with the audio he says we found one of the world's youngest billionaires. So which is it? You know, it's like the editing of his video is sometimes misleading and... Ugh. We found one of the youngest billionaires in the world. We found him in Rayagada, India. This is Ritesh. He is 27 years old. So how did he become a billionaire? Well, he took the biggest risk of his life. 
He went to an empty hotel, took over it, changed the beds, the rooms, the service, and named it Oyo Hotel. And that upgrade made the hotel go from empty to full. At age what? 22, he had 500 hotels. At age 24, he read. He's not explaining what made uh, the difference here. Okay, naming the hotel Oyo Hotel made the hotel more popular? Why? Just because he changed the name? That doesn't make a lot of sense, right? I hope he's gonna explain it, because otherwise, I'm gonna explode. One billion dollars, and at age 26, he had over 43,000 hotels and built the second largest hotel chain in the world. What? This is luck, Seriously? hard work, and determination at the same time. When you don't let your age, background, or ethnicity get in the way, you will achieve greatness. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. See, I did not like this minute, this segment. Like, you're not... Okay, yes, you are teaching us about a guy who made it in life, all right? Became a billionaire. But I think the most important part here was how did he make it? Like, what's the idea? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people that tried what he did, right? And didn't succeed. So what is the difference here? He didn't explain it. Okay. But good for this dude, man. And I like the fact that he's a billionaire and yet look at him. He's so simple, right? Like in the way he, he dresses and everything, he's just like so simple. Free kitchen. Okay. Guys, we found one of the biggest kitchens in the world and they've been feeding more than 100,000 people every single day for free. Let us show Fantastic. you the golden temple. This temple is made of real gold. They got floors that look like this, ceilings filled with crazy designs, and a huge pool. Ah, all yes, yes, yes. But the best. See, yes, I reacted to a video that showcased the beauty of uh, of India. Wait, why is the quality so low? Okay, there we go. The beauty of India, and this place was one of them. Or I also reacted to another video that showcased the temples of India, and this one I think was one of the temples. Yeah part of this temple is actually hidden away deep inside and it's the kitchen here these guys wake up at 4 a.m every day to cook over 2500 kilograms of dal 1800 kilograms of rice and over 5000 pieces of bread they serve it on this plate for free mm. thanks to volunteers and donations these volunteers give their time and money to the golden temple because they believe that every human being is equal this religious place Beautiful. is important because it doesn't care about about your religion it cares about you as a human the have you noticed even the guys that work for nas daily speak like him you know he wants people to speak that way in that cadence and everything <laughs> very intense <laughs> golden temple doesn't just have walls of gold but people with hearts of gold that's one minute See that's beautiful more. i like that First bank for poor in women. India, there is a woman who opened an entire bank for the bottom 1% of women. I'm Chutna. I started the first bank for village women in India. These women were rejected from normal banks just because they were poor. So oh. Chutna gathered them up, taught them interest, capital, and finance, and opened the first bank in India That's amazing. by village women for village women. They have ATM cards, wow. digital wallets, and even biometric logins. After 20 years of this, her bank has more than 170,000 account holders, loaned over $50 million, and helped many poor women start their business. That's Chetna amazing. should be a national oh, hero absolutely. because her bank saves the bottom 1%, not the top 1%. That's so because inspiring. Because banking, finance, and access to money should be a human right. That's one minute. See you tomorrow loved it that one is great he paints with a typewriter in india there is a painter who paints not with a brush but with a typewriter what i'm guru murti i make art on typewriter guru murti used to be a banker and art was his hobby his paintings were nice but unsuccessful until he had a crazy idea why don't i use typewriter for making artwork. But it was a lot harder wow, than he thought because course. typewriters have no erase buttons. A little mistake means you must start over. 
left, he continued and he created hundreds of artworks only with a typewriter. That's insane. That people loved. Because of this, he retired from banking and now he is a full time artist with a typewriter. Guru Murti is an example. If you wanna stand out from the crowd, you gotta do things oh, differently. That's amazing. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. I would love to know how long it takes him to make one um, portrait because clearly he specializes in portraits. Why he makes tiles out of carbon? All right, this is crazy. In India, I found a guy who makes tiles out of polluted air. Hi, Nazili. I'm Teja Sidnal. He is a material designer who wanted to solve air pollution. How? Ooh. By capturing the pollution carbon in the air and putting it inside tiles. First, he collected tons of carbon from factories. He processed it in his lab. He mixed it with other materials he made it stronger sent the final materials to artisan factories and made it into art by hand the result is this tile it comes with wow. zero waste zero pollution and one day worth of clean air imagine this guy's invention is able to make the air less polluted and put that pollution in something that is useful for the world if this guy succeeds we all succeed that's one minute. See you tomorrow. I think that's just beautiful. You know, like people can surprise you. People are amazing. And I'm not surprised actually that all these people are in the India. And I mean, there are so many Indians in this world. So of course, uh, a good portion of them hides like, like a, a, a few diamonds in there, right? Like some people that have amazing ideas that are doing greatness in this world. That's awesome. Toys made from cigarettes. In India, oh I found God. an inventor who makes children toys out of cigarettes. Hey, Seriously. Naman I'm Naman Gupta and I found Now that's how you recycle. Into gold. 3 years ago, when Naman was taking a walk, he noticed that he couldn't even take one step without stepping on a cigarette butt. So he did something about it. He collected tons there of you cigarettes go. Yeah. and ran that's amazing recycling. to come up with an organic formula that can turn these filters into white cotton in just 2 days. He built a huge factory and started paying people money to collect cigarette butts and bring to his factory. Are it you gets serious? Into cotton to make pillows, dolls, <gasps> and chairs from cigarettes. Uh, By uh, now, uh, this cigarette cotton is tobacco free and very safe to use. Genius! You can change the world just by collecting cigarettes. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This is an incredible way of recycling, to be honest. I loved it. The farmer who made a hospital. Okay. In India, we found a farmer who saved thousands of lives using his tuk-tuk ambulance. And guess what? He's not even a medic. Hi, I am Karimulha. Everyone call me Ambulance Dada. Ambulance, ambulance Dada, Dada lives in a the place father, with no hospital. Ambulance father, so when people right? get sick, he volunteers to drive them on his bike and bring them to a hospital all for free. That's he saved thousands man. of lives this way, riding more than 50 kilometers over rivers, bad traffic, even bumpy roads where a normal ambulance cannot go. After years of doing this, he saved up enough donations to build his own <laughs> Ambulance Dada Hospital <laughs> so everyone can be treated immediately wow. and on the spot also for free guys like him are the reason humanity is beautiful he's a hero That's man one minute. for sure see you tomorrow wow he's the he's a hero he's like the real hero of this world right we watch superheroes on tv the marvel superheroes dc superheroes these guys are the real superheroes man if you can back them up please do my gosh see the video was very interesting and very informative, but from time to time I just don't like the way he presents things. But overall, I still learned a bunch of things about India, and yeah, there are amazing people everywhere, not just in India, everywhere. 
Um, there you go. Shokariya, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something here. And uh, of course, if you have found value in this video, then do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.